K at WHKY.com. Very timely with the earthquake. And uh, I don't mind talking about that. And no loss of life, um, very little structural damage, thank heavens. But man, oh man, this uh, this hurricane, I'm telling you what, when I saw the picture on the uh, the Charlotte Observer of the road washed away, does uh, anybody have uh, who's out there this morning listening have friends, family, property uh, at the Outer Banks? Did you plan to go to the Outer Banks for the uh, Labor Day weekend? What are you hearing about the transportation situation out there as far as the ferries, the private boats, uh, when there may be repairs? I'm hearing all kinds of uh, different things, and of course, uh, being on this side of the state where we, we generally don't have uh, representation from uh, anybody in, in Washington. Patrick McHenry makes it over uh, every now and then. God bless his heart. He uh, he does come over to this area of the state. When was the last time you saw any of your senators over here? When was the last time Burr was over in this part of the state? When was the last time you saw Hagan? Uh, over on this one because I get their I get their itineraries. They send these itineraries out that say where they're going to be, and uh, when they're off from uh, from Congress, when Congress is not in session, it says where they're going to be. I don't think that they understand that there's a western part of North Carolina. Now, in this case, I can understand why they need to be in eastern North Carolina, why they need to be over there taking a look at what's going on, but um, they they don't get uh, v- very far west. As a matter of fact, I can't tell you the last time that I had heard of, as far as the itineraries go, Hagen or Burr getting anywhere near our area of the state. Now, just think about that. You might want to call, write them a letter, ask them to come on by. I don't know, maybe make some applesauce cake and serve some tea. I don't know what it would take to get them over here and to recognize and to realize that we have voters and citizens and constituents uh, in western North Carolina, they just don't seem to be interested. Now, in this case, I can certainly understand why their attention is drawn towards the uh, the eastern part of the state. There's no doubt about it. And um, hopefully you know, the roads will be fixed, and hopefully we'll get people back out to the Outer Banks. But uh, if you have property out there, we'd like to hear from you and, and know what you've heard or what you're hearing. If you had planned to travel out there, what you have heard and what you've been able to uh, to find out about what's happening over on the Outer Banks, pretty much cut off. So if you were one of the